Hello once again and welcome back to my channel. I am ominously yours. We shall continue on with Close to the Sun, Chapter 7, The Strife of Eris. I told you that I had a family, but I don't. That was a lie. I'm a liar, Rose. I'm sorry. That's okay, Aubrey. Glad to hear it, because I'm afraid you've got a bit of work to do before you can get to my end of the engine halls. But of course I do. What a surprise. Where do I go? Make your way to the local engine hall. You'll have to find a way to the other side of it. Yes! The power couplings, Benny! Hey, Rose. I gotta sort this out. I'll be back in a jiffy. Just don't... Don't what? Aubrey? Aubrey! Great. I didn't even see this way over here. <laughs> I don't know what body part that is. That's a leg. That's an axe. Let's go through here. Are you a stabbed? Jeez. So we have rolling blackouts in this room. Fifty eight Machine Hall. He's lost his intestines. General Maintenance Report 2318. Inspection verdict failed. Inspector notes, how these power couplings are still functioning is beyond me. Look at them. The only thing holding them together is rust and dust. But that's not the only scary part. You know what would happen if these were to fail? First, the D12 panel would overload, preventing the automatic pressure equalizer from receiving updated values. Normally, this would cause the local heat trigger to flip, preventing the situation from escalating. But since the heat trigger is entirely missing, that won't happen. The result is catastrophic pressure building in the discharge tanks, causing a grade C plus explosion where anywhere from four to 10 casualties, depending on shift, would be expected. If you want to gamble with lives, at least have the common decency to say so openly. Assholes. Aubrey King. 
Technology Department, Maintenance Division. So this is our Aubrey King we've been t talking with. And there's that symbol. from there. Let's go up. Aubrey, can you do something about the power coming and going? I thought you had that area covered. Uh, there's a bit of a hiccup with this. Uh, with a large electromagnetic distribution coil, it seems to be pulsating. Uh, yeah, that means nothing to me, Aubrey. Speak plainly. Rosie, we are harvesting electricity from time itself. This shit is complicated, okay? You just find a way forward and... Don't die! Ah, great plan, Aubrey. Your best work yet. <laughs> you hear that, Benny? Rose is giving me attitude. <laughs> I mean, at least he seems to take our sarcasm in stride. <laughs> Having some type of meeting. Well, I need that to work to get that to come over here.
let's go back down. She, she, she's good. She, she can walk it off. <laughs> This is no good. Well, am I stuck over here? How did I get over? There we go. Oh, it's up top. I didn't realize that was on like a little timer. for this to turn off, then I'll hop over that. Oh. Rose, you are there, Rose? Yeah, I'm still here, Aubrey. I made it across the engine hall. What now? Up ahead is hydraulics and pressure control. The distribution coil is boiling with storage tanks, so you're going to have to Use the pressure in order to get the security doors to open. Find the pressure valves, Rose. Turning them should bring the pressure down. Okay. Find the valves to reduce pressure. Got it. Doing great, Rose. You're almost here. Okay. Ooh. Talk to you in a bit. Here is a valve. Nope, not it. Or maybe it's this. General maintenance report 2411. Inspection verdict spectacularly failed. Inspector notes, wow, the way you people continue to disappoint me <laughs> is truly astonishing. The cap transfer cables are not supposed to be connected to the current control systems. Just because the cables fit doesn't mean that they're supposed to connect there. Two systems operate on entirely different frequencies, meaning that all the power rings we've collected since the last inspection will have to be thrown out since the values have been compromised. How the hell are we supposed to keep the Helios from running effectively without you lot pissing away our chances to take accurate measurements? Mandatory Systems and Cables Review Session on Tuesday at 9 p.m. We will go for as long as needed until everyone has an intimate understanding of the required cable connections. Aubrey King, Technology Department, Maintenance Division. And I'm wondering if that guy we saw walking here, if that was Aubrey.
the Helios. Build the future. And it, Penny. And it. Aubrey? Years of... Aubrey! Well, I don't know if I'm doing anything. Because it's not going down. Okay, now that did something. Finally. <laughs> it's like a wheel we will need on one of these. guessing here. Got a message here. Roll with the hit and run. Rescue will come. And that's the same symbol. He seems very obsessed with this, which is understandable. Like he had, he was in the prime position working alongside Nikola Tesla and then he was demoted. <laughs> so I think it's understandable that he was or is obsessed with what's going on. So we were just over here. I'm, I believe I need a wheel. I think this is the last one we need to turn but it's missing its wheel. Oh. 
there's the wheel. You did it, Rose. I see green all over my sensors here. The security doors should be open. Just one more hurdle, and then we can get the hell out of this ship. All right, one more hurdle. What's up next? Well, you remember that malfunction in supersized electromagnetic distribution coil? It's... You know what? Some things just need to be seen. Come on through. Continue through the engine halls to see what Aubrey is talking about. Go around and up the stairs. Electromagnetic distribution coil. Supersized electromagnetic distribution coil. I'm going to call it Fred. <laughs> He just backs away. <laughs> the way he just backs away should not be <laughs> as disturbing as it is. Yep, there's Fred. I should wait for the next pulse. Yep. Gonna wait for the next pulse.
think it's already charging. Or we're fried, we're fried. Yep. Because I waited for that pulse, but like as soon as I left, like it started charging up again. fire over there. Second charge. And there's that symbol there too. I wonder if I should wait here. Oh, nope. Oh. I didn't see it. It's gonna pulse again. Just made it. Damn thing. Did it work? Just a moment. I think you did it, Rose. Oh, thank God. I can't believe it. You did it. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm going to live. Hey, 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 hey. So, Aubrey, Aubrey, how about we finally get off this godforsaken thing? What did they do?
On my way, Aubrey. See you in a bit. Well, all right. Aubrey knows of a shortcut off this thing. Ooh, I don't fancy going back the way I came. Yeah, that little maze. Aubrey? And the pulsating, like, I'm glad that it at least saved progress. <laughs> It was like a little bit disorienting. Where are you, Aubrey? Let's go. It'd be funny if it wasn't so goddamn depressive. Since my transfer from the weather department eight months ago, I have yet to perform a maintenance check that didn't reveal a severe maintenance malfunction. All I hear are safety concerns this and safety concerns that. If you lot could succeed in keeping the maintenance hall running for a week without some new disaster, we actually might be able to get the budget to take care of your workplace safety paranoia. For those who care, the funeral at sea for your colleague Michael Jensen will be held at 2 p.m. Wednesday. That's all. Aubrey King, Technology Department, Maintenance Division. I mean, at least he's like very thorough in his in his work. Come on, Aubrey, let's go already. And you would think Aubrey would be like waiting at the door for us. There's Benny. <laughs> She's here. Surgery room, N4, floor 3, section 7D. So that's where our sister was. A blueprint map of the surgery room where Ada was trapped. Ooh. No! Oh. All right. <laughs> Dude. I tried to tell you. I really did. I'm a liar, Rose. I've heard everything, every word, since you came aboard. From your first conversation with Ada to the last words she ever spoke. 
I even listened in to your conversation. Aubrey! What? It wasn't Tesla's lockdown that was jamming your sister's broadcast. That was another lie. It was me! Why? Because she took everything from me! Everything! I had his attention! I had his respect! But she took it all. I used to be someone aboard that ship. But now, now the time has come to take back. Um, Starting with these. If you do this, I will kill you. Is that a promise, Rosie? Scouts honor. <laughs> <laughs> You forget that just like I led the exotic energy to the surgery room of your sister, so too am I leading exotic energy to you right here. You better hurry. Those things will be here any minute. Any of you keep you company I instead use these to say they play what Jeez. Like, Nicola is not a dumb man. <laughs> oh, shit. Limp faster, please. Limp faster. Come on. Tesla just saved us. <laughs> it's going to be okay. They're gone. It's going to be okay. And here is where we will end it. We finally meet Aubrey King. Uh, and he is just as crazy as we kind of suspected. And he was the cause of her sister's death. Like he led those creatures to her to kill her because he was so jealous of her, which we kind of knew from all the notes that we, we read of his in his room. Like he was very obsessed with being in the spotlight of being next to Nicola. And that makes sense. Like he was employee of the year for like several years and he got the boot whenever Ada come aboard. So he betrayed us, lied to us, and try to kill us with those creatures too. And then Nicola saves us. So I'm excited for the next chapter. But until then. Bye.